Hey, this is Dallin with No Contract VoIP, and we're gonna set up the Yealink T53W phone from start to finish. It's already pre-programmed, but we have to set it up on the Wi-Fi, set up Bluetooth, and then go through a few basic operations. Okay, so now it's powered up. We need to make sure we set it up on the Wi-Fi. Uh, so, from the home screen, all we have to do is go to the menu, go to settings, basic settings, Go down to Wi-Fi. Uh, make sure the Wi-Fi is set to on. Uh, one, if it's off, then all we have to do is change it to on and hit save. Okay, once it's on, we go down to available networks. It'll tell you how many are in the nearby area. We have 21 here. From there, we scroll down to the network we want to connect to, press OK, and we just have to type in the password. So our password here is N C V, and we can press this button to change from letters, to capital letters, lowercase letters, and numbers, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and we connect to that network processing and we got a little check mark so we're connected Let's go back 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 it's connecting to the network and it's connected to the network now it's connecting back to no contract VoIP services and it is all up and running Okay, so that's how you connect it to Wi-Fi. Next, let's connect it to our Bluetooth headset here. So, we'll go to Menu, Settings, Basic Settings, down to Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth is currently off, so we'll change it to on. Save that. And then, we have to... We have to put our headsets into pairing mode. Okay, now that our headset's in pairing mode, we scan for available devices. There are two devices nearby. There's a Plantronics a V5200, that's mine. And now our headset is connected. You see a little headset symbol to show you that it's connected and headset mode has been turned on. So now if we start dialing, all the audio is going to my headset. Okay, so next let's go ahead and do some basic phone operations. We're gonna receive a call, we're gonna transfer a call, and we'll try a conference too, maybe even hold. Ariana, can you give me a call at 134? Okay, so since we got our headset connected, we can just answer by uh, answering on our headset. So we can press answer. Hello. Okay, so to put someone on hold, all we do is we press hold. It'll show that uh, the call is on hold. It'll say who it is, and it'll show that their line is now blinking. We can get back to the call by pressing the resume. Hello. And if we have to transfer them anywhere, we can press transfer. Uh, pick an extension to transfer to and we can call that person to let them know that they're getting a the call. Now if no one answers over at that phone, we can always transfer our cancel and then resume our call right back. Now what we could do is we can find someone who's at their desk. Um, okay, We can transfer her right back to herself. Hello, uh, I just got a call to transfer to you. Here you go. And complete the transfer. Okay, next we can do a quick conference. Ariana, can you call me again? At 1.34? Yeah. Okay, this time we can answer by pressing the headset button. Hello. And we'll conference with uh, someone else 
who is also extension 303. Hello, can I conference you on with yourself? No. Okay, so we complete the conference by pressing conference. It says there are two members in here and we're all talking together. Hello? Okay, you can then go to manage and you'll see everyone who's on the call. Uh, you can mute or remove anyone you'd like. So you can kick this person off and now we just have this one person on the phone. Uh, so we can resume. Hello? Oh, they put us on hold. So we can just hang up with them. That's okay. But that's the basic operations of the phone. This has been Dellen with No Contract Void. We'll talk to you later.